Hey, so last week's alternative topic uh, male eggs and female sperm. Uh, oh, 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 oh. How do I feel about this? Uh, I think it's silly, and I think there are too many people in the world as it stands. Why do we need more? People are so for it because of this innate desire to pass on their genes and people don't really understand it, you know, they, they package it in terms of having a child that they and their partner created and so this child is theirs. But what they're really saying is this child contains our genetic material, If that's more for gay men, I think, because lesbian couples could just turn their skin cells into sperm cells if that becomes a viable option. They don't have to worry about, you know, getting a little blank sperm cell and sucking out all that and putting theirs in. You know, just change your skin cells, it's easy! Okay, this whole need to be the father, like, put my genetic material with the genetic material of someone I like and produce offspring from that. I think that is very in vain with Darwin's theory of evolution and the whole idea of wanting to propagate your genes. Every individual sort of wants their genes to live on through, like it's, it's basically a way of living forever. But I don't really care for that. I don't, I'm just, I haven't done any research on this which is a bad way to talk about it. I should know what I'm talking about. But just gut instinct, I don't like it. I don't think we need more ways to have more babies, to be perfectly honest. I just think we need to engage our rational logic selves, see that there are all these children who need homes, fucking be compassionate human beings bring back a sense of community it's a community raising like get over yourself you don't need to propagate your genes we've kind of destroyed the reasons for doing that which was diversify the population so that it could survive sort of environmental changes uh, changes in the atmosphere changes in the vegetation available all these sort of natural changes in the world had consequences on populations and if a population wasn't diverse enough or didn't have the capability or not the capability but didn't have um, groups of individuals within the species who could survive those changes then that's the natural way of extinction right humans have kind of mess that up too because we're good at messing shit up. We've gotten to a point where we're not so much reliant on our genetics to adapt to different environmental situations and changes in the environment. Uh, we've gotten to a point where we can adapt within a lifetime, which isn't evolution, isn't an individual changing because of the environment. It's the environment changing and killing individuals who couldn't adapt to it. So the ones who could adapt, they live on and reproduce and their offspring has that gene that can survive the weather. It's very simplified. But that's essentially it. And we've gotten to a point where that's not the case with us anymore because if it gets cold to the point of where uh, we would die if we were outside naked. We just put on layers of clothing and insulated jackets and snow pants and snow boots and you know those little hot pocket things that you like put in the microwave and put in your gloves and keep your hands nice and warm. Oh yeah. So that's my spiel on it. I just, it's gonna happen, like, people are very obsessed 
with the idea of creating their own offspring. So, I mean, it's never going to go away. I just think people should be less focused on themselves because wanting to have a child that's yours, that has your genetic material, is a selfish thing. And it's just this innate egotism with your own genetic material and thinking that you're great. And now it's really hard. No one really has great genes. So just adopt. Just give a loving home to a child who was born because someone didn't believe in birth control or abortion because God says bad or whatever. You know, people think they're doing children a service by giving them up for adoption instead of aborting. No, because then you have all these people who are like, well, I don't want to adopt, I just want to have my own. It's, no, no. Stop being selfish. It's very selfish. So many children in the world that need you and need your home and your love. Selfish. So that's how I feel. If you don't agree with it, that's your prerogative. Yeah. So, that's my two videos. Hope you guys liked both of them. And once again, have a lovely weekend. Week. End of the week. Enjoy yourselves. Go and go bowling. That's oh, fun. Archery. Yep. All right. See you guys later.